Good morning, this is Renee. This is going to be a collective reading, and this reading is going to be kind of specific. I have to tell you this story. I was sitting watching TV, and all of a sudden, I wasn't even tapping into any kind of energy or anything. I was just relaxing, watching television, and all of a sudden, I got this urge, this feeling, this person coming through saying, I need to deliver this message. I need this message to come across. So for any of you who may be channelers, you know that sometimes you have to be led by the message. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to keep disturbing you until you finally get up and do it. So, yeah, that's my story. So we're channeling this message. And because this is specific to someone who has lost someone on the other side, This is still a collective reading. If you hear my kittens in the background, they're playing. So please forgive them. Okay. Let's start with some tarot. have the Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. right now. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. have the Knight of Wands. The Tower also wanted to come out at the moment, but it was coming out with too many cards, so I left that in there. So I feel like when this person left, that it caused a dramatic change. It left a void. It left a lot of burden, a lot of weight. But I feel like since this person has left, since this person has moved on, they've wanted to communicate with you. 
they've been wanting to communicate with you for a while and just didn't understand how or how to go about it. They've been wanting to send you a message and they weren't able to. I feel like they see you alone. They see you struggling and trying to balance out your life. I feel like they see you stuck in a place. They see you stuck in your emotions. They see you not moving forward. They see you as just living. They see you as not progressing with your life. They see you as just living. This person that's communicating with you, it could be either gender, but they have the qualities of the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So this is someone who was full of life. They are they were charming. They um, were very assertive, very vibrant, very attractive, very loving, very caring and thoughtful. I feel like this person was very courageous. Maybe they gone through a lot before they crossed over. But I feel like this person had no hesitation to wear their feelings on their sleeve to show you love anywhere. I'm, I feel like this person had no problem with public affection. I'm, I feel like they they just wanted to be around you. They loved you. They wanted to build a life with you. I feel like when the final decision was made, they were reluctant. <laughs> they did not want to cross over. They did not want to leave your side. They didn't want to move on. They wanted to stay with you. They wanted to stay by your side. I'm sorry, this reading is just very emotional. I feel like their turning point was knowing that they were moving on and you were left behind. But I feel like this person is saying, stop being stuck. Stop being stuck. You got to get moving. And you have the Knight of Wands twice here. 
You have to get moving. You have to stop being stuck. It's time to move on and find your happiness. This person is making me so emotional here. I feel like this person is saying that they want you to have all the happiness that you deserved when you were with them. The happiness that you weren't able to live out. They're saying you had so many plans, so many dreams, and they were they were cut too short. They're saying that they want you to live out your dreams. They want you to keep going. They want you to keep going. They're saying that love is out there. Don't stop at them. They're like, it's not worth it. Don't stop at me. Keep moving. I feel like this person had a really, really cute sense of humor. What else would you like to say? What other messages would you like to bring? <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're saying you're still a catch. You're still, you still got it. You're very attractive. Someone's going to find you hot. That's what I feel <laughs> like they're saying. You're still hot. You've still got it. Keep moving. The Hierophant, I feel like this person is saying that you know, they'll always be with you in the background. They're always walking at your side. But they really want you to move on. They really want you to find happiness. But they want to let you know that they're always here to help support and give you strength when you need it. swords so this person is letting you know that okay you're at a crossroads now there's still some decisions that you need to make stop walking blindly and open your eyes to what can be they're saying this is not it Make your choices and move forward already. That's what I'm feeling. They're very persistent. Very persistent. They got me down here to do this reading so that tells you how persistent. Four of Wands, again. So yeah, your person or persons on the other side really want to let you know that they're good, they're at peace. Everything is beautiful on their side and they want that for you. They want you to find your happiness until you meet again. They're saying, well, we'll be together again. Just live your life. 
live your life to a pinnacles. I feel like they know that you have choices. They know that you're attractive and people are coming around you to make you offers, but you keep turning them down because you're not ready. You're still grieving. I'm not sure how long it's been for you since you lost this person, but you're still grieving. You're not really willing to let them completely go, so you're not able to move on. And they're letting you know you have choices in your happiness. You need to move on. I still hear them saying, make your choice already. Make your choice already. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, so they definitely want happiness. They definitely want happiness and, and fulfillment for you. They definitely want everything that you dream of to come true. They want that for you. They want you to Feel love, be fulfilled, and have a happy life. And I feel like right now you are, you're in so much disappointment. You're mourning. You're still mourning. And they want you to let them go. They want you to let them go. And they want you to keep living. They want you to let them go and move on. They're saying that they'll always be with you. They'll always be surrounding you with comfort, with strength. They'll be around you for your good events and your bad events. But I feel like they want total happiness for you. They want you to find love. They said it's time. It's time. You gave it enough time. They want you to keep moving. Let's see what words they could possibly say. They're saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go. To leave you, to mourn, it was very hard. I think it was harder for them to let you go than to move to the other side. I replay our conversations over and over. So I feel like they, they're thinking about everything that they've talked about with you. I feel like they're reliving their conversations of the things that you hope for, the futures that you planned, the times that you spent together, the relationship love that you built. We need to let each other go. Yeah, they really want you to move on with your life. I regret lying to you. Maybe something that they said. Maybe they didn't tell you certain things at certain times. 
whatever this is that they're regretting lying to you about something. But we will be together again. Okay. Beautiful. I want to tell you how I feel. They really want to communicate their feelings with you, uh, their feelings of <laughs> moving on. I love you. I wish things could be different. This reading is making me cry. This is just deep. I wish I had treated you better. So yeah, they had regrets for any fights that you had, for any arguments. And I love you unconditionally. You know what? I'm going to leave it there because yeah, I can't, I can't move further with this. This one really made me cry. Okay. This is what this is the message that your person wanted you to know. this message resonated with you please like and subscribe many blessings to you